Now if we wanted to simply edit or modify the text in this particular page, then we know that we all we really need to do is insert our mouse and um, type away or delete away to edit that text. But InDesign features a, another way to edit this text in what is called the Story Editor. So to access that, I want to first make sure that I have the text frame selected for the text that I want to edit. And then I can either go up to the edit menu and select the edit in story editor, or I can just simply hit control Y on my keyboard to bring that up. Now the interesting thing to note about the story editor is that it removes any kind of formatting uh, with the exception of bold from the text. So if you are using a particular font, a particular color, none of that is going to show up in the story editor. So in that sense, it could be better to use this, this uh, editor rather than editing it in the main body so that you're not obstructing any of the formatting that you have applied to the main body. And that's where the story editor comes in handy. So here we have a number of options. This is going to show me all the text that is selected in here. And across the left hand side, it shows me what's applied to it. So here that we know that this is body text, how much spacing I have from the top and so forth and so forth. But what if I don't necessarily want this kind of ugly type that's in here. I want to change this up a bit. Well, if I hit Control K on my keyboard to bring up the preferences, then we'll see that there's a story editor display. And here, if I wanted to, I could change, let's say, the uh, font that's being used in the story editor. I can change the spacing, the text color, the theme. I'm going to go ahead and leave those just the way they are. But one of the things that might change is instead of having a standard cursor under the cursor options, I can change it to barbell. That way, as I'm editing my text, I can see it a little bit better. I also change the size. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it at 12 point and then click OK. The font Futura does not support the display of all font style variants. For best results, choose a font that has a bold and italic variants. Otherwise, bold or italic text in the layout may appear as unformatted text in the story editor. And that's probably an important note, but just for the sake of this demo, I want to go ahead and click OK. So that's one way that I can customize it. And as I come in here and let's say... Um, instead of it saying CB Richard Ellis, I just type in CBRE. And as I let go of my mouse, we're going to see that it makes that change effect in real time. Or if I hit Control Z, just undo that, it's going to undo that as well. Now, the story editor can also be used, let's say, if you are working. Uh, in a table. So I'm going to click inside of that table and hit control Y on my keyboard. But tables are viewed a little bit differently here in the story editor. So here we can see I have this little table icon and it's going to show me rows. So here's row one, row two, row three, row four. If you're zoomed in, you can see that label across the top. And it gives me the spacing there. But if I want to view this a little bit differently, I can right click, choose Arrange by Columns, and now I'm viewing it by the column. So here I can see I have a column for address, year completed, side area, so forth and so forth. And this just gives me a different way or a different view of viewing it. But again, Story Editor is really a preference. I would recommend it if you have a lot of formatting, or even if you don't, but if you have a lot of paragraph formatting that may differ from one paragraph to another, we're using a different uh, character style for an example, and we're going to get into those in a later movie, but you kind of ensure that you're not going to 
delete or in any way contaminate any of that formatting by using the story editor. So it really is a safe way to edit a lot of the text and tables that you have in your document. But it's really a preference as to whether or not you want to use it.